So basically, Tom texted me and said, do you want to do something with hovercrafts? Meet me here on this date at this time, and here we are. I've arrived. We don't know what we're doing. No, neither of us know what we're doing. All I know is that the crew told us both to report to the Accelerate Hovercraft Centre in the Midlands. Yeah, you can call it Midlands, yeah. yeah. It's Midlands. Yeah, uh, and there's going to be some sort of hovercraft race or battle or duel. Well, I, I, you have done the hover bike. You, you've got two power motors, pointed them downwards and floated on top of it. I know, that, that seemed... I probably This probably should have been stage one for that project. <laughs> it's probably why it didn't work it's, quite so well. It's just one of them with a skirt around it. You'll be fine. Exactly, exactly that. Yeah, it's less likely to take your legs off. It's a mattress motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an airbed <laughs> that goes. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong at all. And then it looks like we're going to destroy a golf yeah. course. Yeah. So. Yeah, it'll be fine. Right, okay. So, plan for today. You're going to have a bit of a challenge. Okay, you need a bit of practice because we're going to do a bit of hovercrafting, archery, and axe throwing. Okay. <laughs> okay. A bit different. <laughs> well, I never thought you'd be saying those words after the hovercraft. Right. Answer. Okay. But it's all part and parcel, so okay. we're going to. We, it's going to be a time session. Yeah, this is like that Olympic thing yeah. where they have to go. Yeah. Bombing down a mountain, shoot some stuff. Similar to it. Yeah. Only this yeah. is this egg, is egg and spoon race. <laughs> yeah. <Exact> race. <laughs> all right. Getting a hovercraft. So we're never actually doing it all three at the same time. No, no. Okay. All right. You're going to stop, get out of the hovercraft, do the activity, jump back in, off you go again. All right. Cool. Okay. So the higher score you get with your archery and your axe throwing, the more time you get taken off your overall score. Yeah. Okay. And so ideally, we want a, a quick you want, time. You want a quick time, but you want maximum points. Okay. Right. Okay, and then that brings all your times down. I, I've got a prediction here. I think, I think, Colin, you're going to go full beans through loads of corners. I, oh, well, 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 we don't know that yet. And I think I'm going to just be stop, stop, stop. Oh, I quite have. <laughs> right. Okay, guys. Yeah. Quick safety talk. Yep. So you know what to do and what not to do. So <laughs> I'm going to guess flipping the hovercraft. Flipping is, the hovercraft is a, is a knot. Is a knot. That's a knot. Yeah. Okay. Right. For you guys, I'm going to get you to stay up on your knees. Right. Okay, because you can move your body weight around easier. Yeah. Now, you've got a kill switch, very much like a jet ski. Yeah, lanyard. Yeah, that's your very, um, your last point of call, let's say. Yeah. So, if you're going somewhere you don't like, you think something's wrong, pull that off, but if you do pull it off, make sure you're still holding on. Do they slide, obviously? They will slide, but yeah. if they're going forwards, they'll slide. If you're going sideways, they'll dig. Yeah. You've got your rudders here. Left oh. and right, push yeah. it with your fingers, very light, one finger, so it's not like a go-kart, you don't need to whack it into the corners, yeah. so it's just nice and smooth. If you want to go to the left, your handlebar comes back towards you, your weight goes onto your left knee, if you need to, get your right knee in the air a fraction, yeah. so all your weight is here, go towards this handle, as soon as you feel this corner starting to push down, then you can power up, so you can accelerate around the corner. Right. Okay. If you accelerate before the corner, you'll end up going straight through it. Right. If you slow down halfway around the corner, you'll end up going out. So you need the power to push the back end round. And then you've got to throttle. Yeah. So the more you squeeze that, quicker you go, less you squeeze it, the slower you go. Okay. I'll get a helmet on and I'll give you a demo so you can see how easy it is to fly. Yeah. And then we'll, I like how you use the word fly. Well, you I, like how you use I know you're technically easy. not on the ground because you're hovering. So technically you're pilot. Yeah. You're pilot in a hovercraft. Yeah. Because you are seven inches off the floor with these. Yeah. Oh, it gives up that, well, how far does the skirt sit off the ground? About seven inches. Does it? Yeah. So you will see. I just see. thought they I I mean, when, when when like skimmed it off. No, that's an airboat. All right. I want to see it. Come on, get <laughs> yeah, started. I want to see it. I want to see it. Let's see it. If you say, if you say that's all there is to it, I swear. <laughs> that's all there is to it. <laughs> right. 
Well, he's turning. Yeah, in the right sort of position, so that's OK. I mean, he nailed the first half of that, didn't he? Yeah. Like a duck to uh, walk. I don't know, it's a bit weird. I, wouldn't oh. say I'm... I mean, pressure's on me now here because that was. <laughs> you just went. You and can it tell worked. I'm not it's used to safety equipment. Okay, just let it help me off. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Oh, what was that? It's got a little clip latch. I'm not used to that. All right. Brian, Tom, Scott, go for it. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Where are you going, Tom? Power, power, power. There you go. <laughs> All right, watch it, James, if I were you. We're coming for you. I think for a bit of a social media clip, you'd have Tom in it, me standing behind it with my shirt and tie on, and then he just rev it and I go like that. It's like tie and hair everywhere. This has not gone well. <laughs> right, look at your position again. I'm way further back. You've gone further back down the seat, and when you're trying to get around the corners, you're doing it like that. You got right. to do it like that. So that's the key, key thing: your body weight, 70% of your steering. I mean, I've got to make up the points over there. I'm going to have to make up the points over there. When you throw these. You kind of want a strong, straight wrist as much as you can. So what you're trying to go for is straight and parallel. Best way to throw them is to kind of chop, is what I like to call it. So that kind of so, a... Right. Yeah, you're kind of taking it up, taking it back, and then you're chopping it forward. Oh, full over, over arm. OK. Pretty much. So you want that elbow up by the side of your head, and you want to chop it forward like that. And then in terms of it, because I've always thought axe throwing is, is more about, like, if it's spinning round, it's only going to stick in if it's coming round like that. Yep. So you've got to get the amount of rotations right, yes. or else, you know, it's, you'll hit the board, yeah. but it ain't going to yeah. stick in the board. So, yeah, all of that stuff matters. It's speed, about spin that you get on it. I mean, to be honest, if these, if these hit the board, Colin, it'll be a miracle, but uh, <laughs> I'll see what I got. Okay. All right, so you're starting with the other leg forward. You're going yes. up, Perfect. back and throw. There we go. And if you shuffle about a little bit as well, taking yeah. that's just a guide. So little steps yeah. forward, little steps back will help. Let's have a go on the things. Oh, God. Okay. I found my weapon of choice! <laughs> <laughs> I found my weapon of choice! Wow! Hey, look at that! Right, three come on. three on the target. Thumbnail. <laughs> Okay, guys, your final challenge is going to be archery. Yeah. Okay, so arrow, bow. Yeah, good. Target. Check, all right. That's where we need to be going. So right. the arrow goes in into the knock on the string. Yeah. Hang on, like I can't so. see it. Oh, okay. oh, that's, that's, oh, that's what they mean when they're on, the, when they're on the wall at, at King's Landing. They shout, knock! Oh, yeah, arrow in the, arrow arrow in the, in the knock. knock. Yeah, arrow in the knock. And then it goes onto this little... Oh, little thingy there. Little, little, little lever. That. Now, with this... The arrows aren't massively long, so you don't need to pull it back too far. So you're going to be pulling back here, OK? Yeah. Keep your fingers out of the way. Back to your nose. When you're on target, or you think you're on target, then you just release. Nice and straight. Hey! Uh, there you go. That one. And in fairness, that was in a gust as well. So was... you've got to 
allow for the wind to travel. Right. Okay, I'll give you that. Tell you what, we'll make a point so you both stand in the same place. So just put your hip on the side of the table. All right. Ooh, fairness is fair. All right. Oh! Got it. Five so seconds. That's five seconds off your time, right. so that's, that's okay. Go on then, Tom. All right. I assume this is a bow uh, specifically designed for people who've never done this before, because... Yeah, it's a beginner's bow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I feel like we've got training wheels on all day today. Oh, we, I mean, I'll take them, frankly. Right, OK, so. Get your arm nice and straight. Arm straight? Yeah. Yeah, pull it back. <laughs> it's not a good start, that. Don't forget, this is timed. I, well, yes, I do realise <laughs> that. Oh, is it? Yeah. The whole thing's timed. The whole Still thing's on the timed. Clock. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, easy. Oh. So. <laughs> Gonna get, we're gonna get, we don't want to get a stitch halfway through. Keep going, keep going, a bit more. Back to there. Better. Felt better. Felt better. Yeah. I've been watching Game of Thrones all week. <laughs> oh! 20! Yeah. Good solid shots again. Got his eyes in there. One. Two, three. There we go. It shouldn't feel like this is about confidence of going, oh yeah, this is what I need to do, but two, three. Well, I'm not sure I'm gonna hit it, but the arrows are at least flying now. I, I am now at the point you were with your first shot, so I'll take that. So all we've got to do is, in the hovercraft, yep. round the course, yep. fire some arrows, yep. round the course again, yep. throw some axes, yep to the finish line. Yeah. There's a lot, <laughs> a lot to go wrong. And, and currently, you are better at every element of no, this. No, well, <laughs> you, your accent's on par with mine, with the middle ones, I'd yeah. say. Yeah, that's fair. So, yeah. I think archery's down to the weather. No, I, what I've got to rely on here is, is you getting overconfident and making a catastrophic error. That's, Which has happened that's the many only times in the past. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we have some sandwiches? <laughs> and then, we'll, then we'll attack it. Let's do it. I get emails sometimes asking how to learn to code. I started learning that about 30 years ago, so my answer's always been, eh. But today's video sponsor is Boolean, and if you're thinking a career in tech might be for you, you might want to check them out. To be clear, Boolean are a career-focused tech academy. Live online classes with actual teachers and coursework, taught by people who've done the job and have industry experience. Their courses last between 10 weeks and six months, full-time or part-time. You can choose between front-end development, full-stack, or data analytics. It's not just type in your credit card for a monthly subscription, it's a commitment. There's an application process. They will have a call with you before you sign up to make sure that they're right for you and you're right for them. It's designed to get you a job and you have the option to pay afterwards once you get hired. If you're looking to start a career in tech, then head to the link in the description and check out the courses. And if you're not sure, there's a free fundamentals camp that can get you from zero to building a website. That's pre-recorded, but it'll show you how Boolean works. Oh, and if you do go for it and apply for the full thing, uh, then mention that you found out about them from me in your admissions interview. They will knock 500 pounds off the cost of the course. The link is in the description. Right, back to the show. Okay, guys, you've done your practice. Now is the challenge, okay? <laughs> so we're going to start from where we're standing. Right, right. We're going to go this way. Okay. Around the red flag, straight across the water, around the next red flag, through the yellow gate, through the blue gate, 360 on this red flag, through the blue flag, nice little curve, stop by the archery, yeah. jump out, fire your bow three times, jump back in, back between these two flags, then you've got four white posts, straight through the first two white posts, that takes you into a hairpin bend, straight back down, little straight, back between these two yellows, the come back between the two blue flags, then you go down to the two yellows at the bottom of the field, that'll bring you out on those two blue flags, go up the field to the top red flag, come around that red flag, straight yeah. back down, and that's when you come back between all the flags and then you stop here but if you hit the flags you get five seconds each flag so you've got to get the hovercraft between the flags without touching them once you stop here you jump out go and get your axes one two three balloons it should disappear i, I have a feeling this is a course designed right. for people who are we better start, at all these things starting here yep we're going around out. that let's just run it tom yeah we loop around the outside of this flag we hope i'm not going to try and do that over the pond and then it's round that flag there. This red one. This red one. Like we've normally done. 
After we've done this sneaky one here, do we go blue yellow or straight round to yellow? Yeah. yeah, it is blue yellow. Yeah, of course it's blue yellow. All the way up. Uh, yeah, and to then the there's top. the right hand round that. And thing. then you're in home with the greens. Yeah. Well, apart from the apart from the two, four, six, eight, ten flags, you can get for 50 seconds over there. Whew. Yeah, okay. So we do that course. Five seconds added for each flag we hit. Yeah. Ten seconds off for each balloon we pop. Yeah. And then. And every point on that target is a second off. Yeah. You've got this that in the bag. No, You've right, got no, this in the no. bag. No, come on. Oh, and, and also, like, if we go the wrong way, there is there is some. Well, you know, you're just going to look at it and think how much how much yeah. time do you think he yeah. saved? Just so you're not cheating, we're going to make sure that you uh, follow All the right. course. Yeah. yeah, we'll do our best. I know you will. Who wants to go first? Oh, I'll, I'm not. I'm not. I'll, I'm not fussed. So there's. I'll, I think I'm going to be the slow one here, so I'm going to go first. I'm going to give you a time to beat. Yeah. I'll get a helmet. Here we go. Right, Tom's going first. Ready. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Colin Furs versus Tom Scott. Hovercraft, mm -hmm. Andy Murray, and Archery Ray. He's off, it's a good start. Lean, Tom. Lean, lean, lean. So this is a good start from Tom. See, I don't think this is going to be about speed. I think the faster we try and go, the more of a mess we're going to get in. All right, we got our first hit. Uh, oh, we got another hit. We're going for the 360. This is where it all starts to get tricky. Is he going to get around it? Is he going to get around it? Yeah, he's got around it. Tom's great at memorising stuff, and that's that's an advantage he's definitely got on me. Finger above. Come on, Tom. If you're going to hit the target, this is the time to hit the target. Oh, really? so close! Yeah. Come on, you line. need to get 30 points. Ah. Ah. Not quite, not quite. Right, he's getting back in again now. Yeah, I mean, that's, you cut the corner, but like we said before, there's no pegs on the inside corner, so it don't matter. Oh, now this is the tricky bit. Oh, he's he totally overshot that. He's just drifting around. So like Fast and Furious 15, Tom Scott. Right, he sort of got through him. I think he's doing all right, you know. There's a bit of pressure on here. Oh, I thought he was going home then. <laughs> right, just got the green ones to go. It's pretty good. This is a tricky bet, this is. And stop. Right, get ready, axe throwing. I'm getting out of the way. Three balloons, there's a happy man. Three balloons I think that's access. a good run. I think that's a good run. Right, I'm going to have a pretty much nervous way, and then it'll be my turn. <laughs> oh, that is... That is fast and that is solid. He's got that. Start, I'm being hustled here. I've, he's absolutely nailed it. He's gone early. Oh! One centimetre then.
I'm a little mad about it. It didn't so much hit that flag as just kind of obliterate it, but it's straight into the archery. All right, what's he got? We have a bloody visor, up in it? Close. He's hit the bloody target. You might have to give you one for that. Ah. Is that any time off? Now, is he going to remember which way to go? Yes, through the blues. And he's remembered the left turn. He's gone into it plenty early. Ah, oh, he's nailed it. Right, it should be going full throttle here. Now the question is how many flags does he obliterate on the slalom? Because I got at least one of each pair. Oh! One, two, three. <laughs> There's no, we don't need the times, Colin. You've got that one. I don't one. know. I, think, no, I you... did it more flags, I think, than you. No, you no. Colin, you just did the slalom flawlessly. You didn't hit a single flag. I bet there's not a lot in that. Well, let's I mean, let's let's go for the judges. Okay, Greg. What were the final scores? Right. So, Tom, your original time was four minutes twenty-seven point eight eight. That Colin, sounds. That sounds slow. 4.27 sounds I don't know. I don't know. Like. And Colin, your original time was 3 minutes 22.5. <laughs> A minute and five. <laughs> I knew you were fast. All right, so... Yeah, but wait a minute. I did hit. I did no, hit No, no. I hit... I hit... What, the only way... That's what, that's 65 seconds. That didn't feel like we, a Because we match on that. Minute. We match on that. The only way that I can pick up 65 seconds is if you hit 30, 14 more flags. You need to have hit... You need to have hit every flag on the course. Right, and Tom, your score with penalties is 4 minutes 57.88. So what, I only hit six? No, you hit 12. Five seconds each, sorry. And then Colin, your final score was 3 minutes 42.43. So what did I hit? I, my maths is gone. You hit 10 flags. 10, 10 flags. flags. Yeah, I'm going to say... Yeah, I, I thought you hit less than that. I, did, I, I think you did that bit round there better than me. Cause so I, 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 only... I only hit two more. Than... Yeah, you only hit two more. Thank you, Colin. Cheers, Tom. Thank you, Mark, Chloe, Greg. Uh, yeah, you, you, you're just good at this stuff. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad I've won. <laughs> I always worry about these things. There's always a certain <laughs> level of expectation for some reason. Yeah. So, but there we are. It's good. Right, I'm going to have another go. <laughs> <laughs>